right, guys, it's Vlogmas Day 12. Today is a day basically full of appointments. I have a dental cleaning scheduled today, and then after that I have an appointment with my chiropractor, and I'm also getting massage there. So I will take you guys along with me. I feel like, I don't want to say my voice is worse, but it's always kind of like mm, in the morning, so I feel like it's going to get better as the day goes on. You guys have been loving the DIY tutorial, so that's very exciting. I might actually swing by Michael's because my dentist is so close to there, and I don't ever make a trip out there because I never want to leave my house. <laughs> so I might check out Michael's to see if there's anything else that I can... Um, any other DIYs aside from the ones that I have recorded that I can uh, work on for you guys. So I've spent most of my morning going through the giveaway entries for the Ulta haul giveaway. So now I just have to cut them up. This is one of the last giveaways that I did without using Gleam. So this is what I used to have to do. Super excited to not have to do this anymore. So I'm not wearing like face makeup today because it always gets like all over the place at the chiropractor's office because you like put your face down and thing. But look at these lashes. Like what? That's all thanks to this little guy. This has been like my mascara of choice. This is two, two coats on top, one on the bottom, and it's like insane. I love this mascara. But yeah, so I'm getting ready to head out. And I also got a notification that my iPhone is there and ready. So it's another thing I have to do. So I might also visit Peanut because it's close by. It's gonna be a long day. Mm -hmm. It's a very long day, but I'm gonna bring my laptop so I can do work. I'm here. I get dental cleanings probably, normally I think it's every six months, but I'm starting to develop like periodontal disease, which is so weird for me to say because I'm so used to that being associated with animals since I used to work at a vet's office. Uh, but now it's, it's humans too. <laughs> and I think I'm supposed to get like these deep cleanings every four months, but somehow they've like squeezed it now to every three months and I'm like mm, you're just trying to get my money right I don't know it's weird it's definitely strange because I don't get any cavities which is bizarre I don't know I've got this theory you guys are gonna think I'm crazy I have a theory about mouthwash like I think mouthwash is like the devil because there was a time period where I was using, like I was brushing my teeth and I was flossing and I was doing everything I needed to do and I was using mouthwash and I had cavities. Mind you, at the time I wasn't really drinking soda as much. I wasn't eating candy, nothing like that. I was eating really well and I had two cavities next time. Now I haven't used mouthwash for years. I've been eating a crap load of candy. I know I shouldn't be and like whatever and no cavities explain that because when I got the cavities they were and I was trying to explain like I'm not eating candy anymore like I don't get it and they tried to tell me like oh you have like uh, your your molars in particular have like because it's always in my molars have like really deep grooves so it's almost impossible to like clean it out they even told me like we should probably start chewing gum because if you have those really deep grooves like sh chewing like sugar-free gum can help like like putty like take it out and yeah, well, I still got those deep grooves and I ain't got no cavities, so unless it's because of these these cleanings that, that I'm getting the dental cleanings more often. I don't know. But I like to think it's the mouthwash. It's like an unnecessary step. Also, I feel like with the mouthwash, you like basically disinfect your mouth. Like, especially the ones that are really harsh that just kill all bacteria. Like, 
you need bacteria to survive. Your bacteria is what helps you, the good bacteria. So if you think that your mouthwash is selectively choosing just the crappy bacteria, that's not the case. It's killing everything, which means that pretty much how like antibiotics and a lot of things work, it's like they kill the easiest bacteria first. What happens is bacteria will mutate so that they, that particular thing doesn't work on them anymore. Or you kill like the easiest ones off and then the ones that survived are the strongest, of course, and then they replicate and then you have like a really severe like strain. I mean, that's not necessarily how mouthwash works. It kind of just kills everything, but it kills the good bacteria too, which helps you. So, I don't know. Brush and floss. That's like what I can recommend. And the biggest thing I think for me too, I don't even know why we, we're getting into this. My ex was in dental school, so I also like learned a lot like while he was learning. And this is something that they don't teach you when you're growing up. They only teach you this, or you may not even learn this after you have issues with periodontal disease or whatever. When you're flossing, you have to make sure that when you go in between each tooth, you move the floss along. You never want to repeat a piece of floss. So don't be skimpy on the floss, because what happens is you're taking bacteria from one section, putting in another, or plaque from one section, putting in another. You don't want to do that. And the other thing is after you do a cleaning, every single time you do your cleaning, new toothbrush. So you're not redepositing like old bacteria and stuff like that. And it also helps you remind yourself to replace your toothbrush. So that's my dental tips for the day. I don't have that many. I'm gonna go now. These vlogs, I mean, they're getting kind of funny. They're so random, right? Oh my god, it's so funny. By the way, it's 83 degrees outside and it is mid-December. I wasn't kidding. I was not kidding. So I wanted to try to film a little bit of it, but it gets very hard to do it. All your teeth are being messed with. But I have some good news. So normally when you have a pocket, that's what they call it, like they grade them a certain amount. So like normal would be anything from like a one and a two, sometimes a three. But when you get into the four, five, and six, and even seven, like that's like when you have a lot of, like you have a pocket. So like they stick this little measuring thing and that's how deep it is. And that obviously bacteria can stay in there and it causes a problem, it causes your gums to recede, whatever. I remember when I, f I first had like fours and fives, it was like, oh my gosh. And when I asked her like, can I make it better? She was basically like, no, I mean, this is just my gentis, but you can make it better. Don't let anyone tell you you can't because every time, sometimes, like I have teeth that used to be fours and fives that aren't anymore. And last time I had three sections with five in it. So I had to get this like antibiotic thing, like plug thing put in, it's called like a restin. And it's pretty pricey and insurance doesn't cover it. And then from that time to this time, so three months time, I only had to get one and it's in a different side. So you can definitely make improvements. And honestly, it's funny, like every single time it's like, okay, well now focus more on, like make sure you focus on this side. And so like, for whatever reason, I can't seem to like put equal focus on my entire mouth. Don't ask me why. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited that I only had one today because it's expensive. So now I'm gonna head to my chiropractor. See ya. It's, a, it's video. It gives us like an active, like, oh, whatever you want. Just a little therapy action. It's a Lena's prime therapist out here. Let's try to get her feeling better. No. Is this like towards you or to like a crowd? Or it's like, to no? like all my subscribers. This is to these subscribers? Yes. Okay. And that's physical medicine. We have it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Come on down. Oh, the gentlemen's yeah. and irritations check out. What's that's all. That's all you got. And see, look at these. Look at these matching shoes. There we go. What's your best move? What's your best footwork? What you got? Oh, that's usually what I bust out too. But I do it better. The kid and play. Can you do it in one walk? Oh, oh, that's close. <laughs> Put this right under the neck. Hello. Are you supposed to turn your neck like that? Just for de <laughs> demonstration purposes. What is this for? All right, this is called the cervical neck traction. Okay, that's actually, I'm just gonna help to restore the natural curvature of the neck. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tilt our head back as far as we can. Just squat it's the down. same technology that when someone gets a kidney stone, they go to the hospital, they get a birth with a sound wave, well they have this. What if there's a fire? 
Yeah. See, that doesn't, you don't leave it, you can't exit that one as fast. Evacuation, that's it. <laughs> So, I'm getting my muscles out. <laughs> Chiropractor, I got my adjustment. My voice sounds like this because it's like this table's vibrating. And I sound. I don't know what this is called specifically. This line actually looks kind of good. I'm going to have to massage a little bit. So these are the tops that I'm keeping. I know it seems like a lot, but it's a lot less than what I had. Before this, I had this entire top section, this entire bottom section, and a top section in another closet, completely full. So this is definitely pared down. So now, I mean, I just hung them up just so that I can get them off the floor, but now I'm gonna rearrange them the way that I want them. Hi guys. So, Pretty much from the moment I got home, I've just been editing or attempting to edit. Um, I posted the winner to the Ulta giveaway and then I think midnight the holiday giveaway ends. So I have to go into Gleam and do the random sorter thing. So that's exciting. I love doing giveaways, but I also love when they end. Not because of anything other than the fact that it's like decluttering. <laughs> Every time a prize goes out, it's like, yes, bye-bye, bye-bye, I don't have to see you or make space for you. Especially the, the laptop and also like the lip vault and all that. Can't wait, can't wait. And yeah, so, and then since the other way ended, I'll contact all the winners and I'll ship all the stuff out at the same time, which will save me some time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog now. So I can get to editing it and you know it makes me happy that you guys have been enjoying Vlogmas. I've actually kind of gotten into a nice swing of vlogging again and I really enjoy it. This room is still a mess. I don't know when I'm going to have another block of time to like get going. This kind of project is like very difficult if you don't have a lot of space to like spread everything out. But um, I will get through it. At the very least, if all these clothes are still on the floor in like a month and I haven't touched them, probably means I don't want to wear them. So I'll just, I won't even look at them, I'll just put them in the box. Be done, be done. But I ran out of like the, those big bins to put the clothes in, so I can just start listing and folding and selling. So, hope you guys have a good evening. Bye.